to the garage and uh, today we'll be talking about some lines of SUVs and the first thing we're going to tell you is that there are four guys in the Range Rover family. We have uh, the Range Rover Sports, then the Range Rover Vela and the Range Rover Vogue and the one we'll call the baby Range Rover which is the Range Rover Evo. Well today we'll also tell you that there is the Land Rover family and in the Land Rover family we have three guys in there. We have the Land Rover Discovery, we have the Land Rover Discovery Sports, and definitely the Defender. And from the guard, I am troubled. And because it's not all about all the brute force and all the power you can get from these vehicles these days because everything has to come into play, every factor is considered. Underneath this hood here is a 4-cylinder 2.0-litre turbocharged Ingenium engine and that means a lot and we're going to talk about that right now. Now, when we talk about the Ingenium engine, it means that apart from the fact that it has a battery that kickstarts this engine and runs it, there's another battery in the core of the car that actually takes in some of the weight from the engine. For example, Costaris is telling us that um, the power steering is not being driven by the engine, but it's being driven by the battery in the core of the car, which means that there is a lot of weight taken away from the battery and the engine, which means lower fuel consumption. Also, there are several other parts of the vehicle that would not be run, like the turbocharger too, would not be run on this battery or on this engine. It is run by the core battery in the car and that is because the core is getting charged every time you apply your brake and definitely it's a lovely one you want to see this car delivers 250 horsepower and that's a lot coming from an inline four cylinder engine that is what we call the disco sport or the discovery sport from land rover very lovely car you want to see we're still going to talk about a few other things about it but before we go look at the signature headlamps freshly reviewed you see the vents of the bumper that is not just aesthetic, it's basically to give you more aerodynamics and flush out dirty air and you can have a smooth ride and there are sensors all around the front which actually goes to the back and right underneath this here, this side mirror, there are two other things, there is a light and there is a camera that give you some views which you, we will get to see when we get inside the car. Basic stuff but very beautiful and coming around this vehicle you can see the way it is aerodynamically carved out and there are several options you could have in the Range Rover Discovery Sport. Now, before we go inside, I want to say that this Discovery Sport was said by the head of trading of Jaguar Land Rover that it is the most capable and the most versatile mid-size SUV in the world today. Now we want to go inside and check out some of the things we have in there. Getting into this car, I can actually feel something totally different about it. It doesn't feel like any other mid-size SUV I've been into. Definitely the F is actually has its own feel which is very different from this. And um, looking onto into the interior here, the material is a soft material, high quality material definitely. There is double stitching, I love this blackness. And this glossy material on here is very attractive. 
I like what I'm seeing here. The dials on the steering wheels also, they are tactile. I can see a lot of control for the volume, for phone, for several other things you may want to do. Other buttons are there that do several different things. Underneath this little panel is your double cup holders. And um, right here is your gear knob. Initially, we used to have the rolling knob, but now we don't have that. We have this proper one. And there is a knob in front of it that we can push to engage your gear and you can move from wherever you want to go. And um, when you are done, you hit the P button on top and it goes to park. Now you have this touch screen in front here. You can go from your navigation, then you can go for your phone. You can do your, your camera. It gives you your 3D view. You can see everything as it goes and you enjoy what you have because it helps you to go around the vehicle basically you can see what is actually behind us i can see the discovery right behind us and if i look from the front as well i can see the entirety of the front of the car this is a lovely one very cool one and right underneath it is another one another screen which is basically for your um your air conditioning system very beautiful setup definitely and um, this seat also they are ventilated which means that you can have air conditioning from coming from inside there will be no issue of you driving maybe for some time that you have sweat on your back or from underneath because this car will cool you from all angles and as well when you have cold or maybe things are extremely cold this all this also this same seat that are cool are also heated and that's a lot coming from the land rover discovery spot it's a very lovely one now one of the things i want to talk about is the fact that Simon Dale of Jaguar Land Rover said that the Discovery Sport is the most versatile and the most capable mid-size SUV in the world right now. And then Johnny Smith of Fifth Gear actually tried it out, drove it to different places and made a dive into an Arctic, into a water, in the deep water. And uh, the car actually went up and the tire went off the ground and it wasn't spinning. Why? Because there is what we call the top vectory. What that does is that all the wheels actually working together and any one of them that does not have a grip of the gun gets zero torque which means that the tires with the best grip get the best supply of power which makes it very easy to move as you move around from different terrain and one thing is as you move around the car actually does the vectoring for you and you can enjoy the way it moves you into lane even when you want to go out of lane that is what the range rover discovery sport can actually do now the discovery sport is designed to be able to take two persons in front like I'm sitting maybe somebody beside me and the other chairs at the back can actually fold it down and you can also have all five persons in the vehicle and there's an option where you have two more at the back which makes it seven but Range Rover himself a Land Rover themselves say that that will only be comfortable for children which is quite understandable yes it's a wonderful and lovely vehicle to have Going through everything that Simon Dale said about the capacity and versatility of this vehicle and what Johnny Smith was able to come up with. And I know that um, it will also weigh in deep so much that if it were to go, if I were to go into the same water that this car can actually go in, I'll have to roll my jean up to my thigh. That is how deep this car can actually weigh. And which means that Simon Dale wasn't lying at all. It's a very capable off-roader which means that every time you want to think of going out somewhere because several people buy their SUVs because they want to just enjoy and not go off-road and when you want to go off-road they have to rethink again but this discovery spot is a vehicle that you have that you don't have to think of where you are going because it's able and capable to go virtually anywhere off-road on road tarmac ice snow anywhere you want to go it's a capable vehicle And then you can actually come, opens, 
then you have all of this boot space very big this actually has this lovely ramp here just to give you this rough effect for this place but then it's a space for your luggages and there is the option where you have two other little seats for children at the back but that is not going to take anybody who's an adult comfortably and that's what Land Rover actually offers us and when we pull this ramp off you can take the entire tent out and uh, these chairs can also go down totally so you have entire space for luxury or for luggage carrying and whatever it is you want to want but then basically when you're done looking around for several vehicles that are capable and versatile there are very few vehicles or mid-size suvs that will be able to match the disco spots from land rover that is a basic and when you're done around it you can actually push this button let it close by itself and enjoy what your car actually looks like it's bloody beautiful mm -hmm.